Hey folks, Jerison here with Crazy Bone. I got a short video today just to show you a couple common mistakes. This is a horn, it's a cow horn, hollow. Uh, basically, this is a giant fingernail that grows from the head of an animal. That's the basics of this. Uh, it doesn't fall off, it doesn't grow back. It continues to grow, but that's it. Uh, so the basics, horn, Giant fingernail. This antler falls off every year, grows back every year. It's not going to be the same, but it grows back every year. It may be close, but it's not going to be identical. You can see this is a shed antler. Little bumps, ridges. This is this little line here, this weird bottom. This is the base of the burr, pedicle, whatever you want to call it. You see a lot of little lines and stuff in it. These here, you see all these lines in here. You'll see them on the antlers too, the tines, I should say. There's a neat one down there. That's from blood. Those are blood vessels, actually, that are growing in there with the soft tissue, covered in velvet as he's growing out. Those are supplying all the nutrients and everything that this antler needs to get big, or basically just to grow. Um, then he's gonna, that, Velvet's gonna dry up. Deer's gonna rub all that velvet off. This is what we're left with, hard bone. And later on, he's gonna fall off and start all over again. So, uh, a lot of you see me selling antlers and you ask why, why do you sell antlers? Well, I sell antlers because I love antlers. I, I collect them, uh, but my wife won't let me keep all of them. So, I sell some. And uh, I like sheds or dead heads, which a dead head is just a skull with the antler still attached. Uh, but I also buy and sell cutoffs. What's a cutoff? That's a cutoff. Just right there, smooth. See, it's got a tag number. It's still got all the marks with the veins and stuff where it's the same thing as a shed, but it's been cut off underneath. And then we're left with this. This is what's left on the deer's head. So he's running around his pen like this. This is cut sharp. After it's cut sharp, he has a tendency to want to rub on things, so they'll rub it down smooth. So it's pretty smooth, it's nice. Uh, and then you can see in the spring when he sheds, it's just like the other one I showed you. He sheds it normal, he's still healthy. Uh, he's got the burrs, he's got a little kicker time here. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things that you can tell from an antler. We're not going to get into that right now, but uh, this was a healthy deer, and uh, it's a cut off bird or base, pedicle, whatever you want to call it. Cut off antler, shed antler, horn. So we know that a lot of people say, "Look at those deer horns. Look at those elk horns." We know what you mean, and. It's not that big of a deal. We just want folks to actually know the difference. There is a difference, and we just want to point it out. So take what you want to from the video. And uh, we like to say, take care of your deer as good as you can, because they'll take care of you later.